Hello friends, welcome to this session of Learning R and in this session we are going to learn how to plot nice bar plots using base R plotting and we will learn how to summarize the data to plot the bar plot also. Let's move to R studio and here we will first plot a very basic bar plot to understand what the bar plot in base R plotting is and for that I will create a data that is A is equal to and four values we will have there 24, 27, 29 and 15. These four values are there. And to name these values, I will have a vector B is equal to. And there we will have four alphabets, letters and square bracket we will use because it's an inbuilt vector in R. And one to four letters we will get. We will run that and we will see what is there in those four alphabets are there. Now we will go for bar plot and in bracket the first argument is height. You see there in the yellow box height A will run that and a nice bar plot is there. But names are not there. Okay. In ggplot2 these names come as default because we have to provide x and y axis. Here we just have provided the height and we have not provided the names of those bars. We will provide here names. Names dot arc is equal to b and we will run that. Okay. This bar plot is there. Now we will try to label these bar plots with their values and for that we need to have positions of these bars and for that I will save this bar plot using a name that name is bp here. I will run that and we will see what is there in bp and this vector contain the uh, midpoints of these bars and these midpoints are just spaced if you look at by 1.2 0 0.7 plus 1.2 1.9 1.9 plus 1.2 3.1 and if you go on increasing the bar the same sequence will continue we'll have the label here i will add their text and then uh, x position of text for x position i will have the bp and y position will have a values label labels will have there and those labels are b and we'll run that okay. those values are overlapping on the bar now we'll just move those values up and for that we'll add something here that offset is there but this is easier way five i will add just five there and we'll see what happens those values are quite above i will add two so that proper overlap will will be removed those values are there but here you can see that those values are going beyond the limit therefore we have to adjust y limit here y lim is equal to c and 0 to 29 we will give 29 is the highest one therefore we'll have little more than 29 33 we will give so that labels will get accommodated properly labels got accommodated properly and this is a good bar plot if you want to color this bars will have color color is equal to and terrain colors we will use as usual it's very easy to use and four bars are there we want four colors we'll run that again the label the good nice bar plot is there you can have a main title you can change the axis labels you can have the y label also this is basic bar plot if you want to learn how to plot bar plot using ggplot2 you can watch my videos i have given the link for the playlist in the description it's a little different to get bar plot from actual data and for that we'll use the data set orange and it is bundled with r we'll see what is there in the data set and this data set contain the circumference of different trees and age variable is also there and if you see in the age variable we can see that those 118 days age is there, 484 days age is there, 664 days age is there and likewise up to 15.82. Okay. We will make this age vector as factor orange scalar age is equal to fac factor. Uh, the same one we will copy there. Now this factorized version is there. We will see whether it has become factor or not. It has become a factor. We will go for the summary of the data because it's a repeated data and we require summary to plot the bars. 
and for that we'll use the deployer functions from library deployer and you can install this deployer package if it is not installed on your system using the install packages here type deployer and click that deployer and click install it will get installed when we run the library deployer we'll have the orange sum for summary we need to group by and before that we need the data set orange and we'll pipe this data set this pipe operator to group by function and here we'll write the age variable because we want to group by age we want to have summary by age again the pipe and now we'll have the summarize function summarize and there we'll have mean circumference mean circ is equal to mean of circumference i will copy this circumference there and we'll paste that here okay we'll run that and now we'll see what is there in the sum now we'll have seven values and mean circle also seven mean values of these ages we are ready to plot a bar plot we'll have bar plot for height we'll use this orange sum kela dollar mean circumference names dot argument will be orange sum dollar age we'll run that and a nice bar plot is there we want it to have labels also for that we'll add it as an object orange bar plot and run that and the obp will add labels now using these midpoints of these bars that text will add there x will be obp y will be mean circumference because this at this point we want and little offset to avoid overlap i will have that 25 comma now labels we want that labels is equal to and again the same circumference we want there as labels we'll run that and those label values are there these values are going beyond limits therefore we'll have adjust the y lim also y lim is equal to c 0 to 180 i will go for and 180 is also not sufficient i will make that 210 and run that those labels got accumulated and this is quite larger one therefore i will make this 10 10 is also not required we'll make that 190 to see the effect yeah nice bar plot is there now these labels x axis labels are not all there because those are not getting accommodated we'll change their direction using that las is equal to 3 this direction got changed and here also direction got changed we will go for the ls2 only we want the change direction in the x axis only the label we can have error bars also to this plot but we'll learn this in later video because this video is getting much lengthy if you have liked this video please click like button please share this video with your friends and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe my channel Thank you. Thank you very much.